welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to bring you this video because this video, this type of video is not only one of my favorites to film, but it's actually one of my favorite videos to watch. And I'm gonna be doing a new what's in my bag. I recently got a new bag. It is a backpack bag, different than the Michael Kors one that I had. What I like about it is it is great for every day. It's also great to take to the office. I use this going downtown every single day and it kind of just fits every need. This is the Matt and Nat bag. I can't remember the name of it, but I will link it all down below so if you would like to get this bag or something similar. This was actually a limited edition bag, uh, but I know that they have very similar ones. The big thing about a Matt and Nat bag is it's vegan leather, which um, a lot of people love and are all about. What I think is so nice about having vegan leather is the lady at the store told me to how to clean this bag, she recommended using a Lysol wipe, which I was like, that's amazing, or just a damp cloth, like with real leather, especially like a pebbled leather and a light leather, you have to be very careful with water damage, and with this, you don't have to worry about that. It is very durable, it's very strong, and honestly, it's a perfect commuter bag for someone that walks a lot outside uh, or takes public transit because you don't have to worry about carrying this through the rain or through the snow even. Uh, this is great. So I use this as a purse in a bag. Right now I'm going to show you how it is filled every day. Literally walked in the door just like an hour ago. Have not emptied it, have not looked in it. This is like, this is my bag. First thing that I will mention is what I really enjoy are these straps. Sorry, green on green interesting choice. I really like these straps. They're very sturdy and I, I feel like they offer a lot of support instead of having a fabric strap. I don't feel that they hurt. They don't weigh everything down. Like I don't feel, I don't have back pain. I really like the gold details. It's like one of the things that drew me to it and I'm really into green if you can't tell right now. First thing is first, we'll open up this front pouch. I like having this front pouch for easily accessible items like my wallet. If I'm like walking downtown for a long amount of time, I will keep it in the bigger part. But if I'm just going from my car into the office, then I'll just put it in there. I also have a charger that I carry around for my desk. This is the I don't know what you call this kind of charger. You just lay your phone on it. It's very convenient. Plug it into my computer during the day, just put my phone there, and then I bring it home at night just in case. Um, I also have my pass, that's where I keep it. And that's pretty much it. It's a good amount of space. I'll keep my keys in there if I have my keys, but it's a great amount of space for what I need it for. Then, going to the main part, I like that you can unzip it and you just see all of it. You have access to everything. So right away, my computer, this computer case I picked up from Amazon. What I really like about it is that I can keep all of my cords and chargers right in the front pocket. I also keep any like important documents that I might need for work or something in here. And then, obviously, my laptop. And this case is by the company Licato. Next up are these two items that come with me everywhere. This is my bullet journal. If you didn't see that video, I will link that. This is my May spread, and yes, I do actually fill it out. My mom was like, it's too nice. Do you really fill it out? And I do. I really fill it out. And then this pencil case is from Muji, and I keep you know, my pens, my markers, pencils, and an eraser. Next is this resting beach face uh, little pouch. 
I keep some deodorant in here, all of my lipsticks and lip glosses, and recently I just added this in a Tide to Go pen because I drink a lot of coffee, I wear a lot of white shirts, and I'm really far from home. There's no way I could change my outfit. So I need the Tide to Go. So I pretty much throw anything personal in here, and that's how I keep it organized. I also have this lipstick that should go in here, but I am loving this. This is by Burt's Bees. This is the Outback Oasis. It is a gloss lip crayon. Very hydrating. Very nice. I also have some Mento Stem and some mints. And that is it. But this is what it looks like from the inside. I love this bag. It also has a pouch, which I will usually put my wallet in there if I'm doing like a long, long trek or taking the train. Um, and then it does have a place for your cell phone right there. But what I love about this bag is that it's just so easy at the end of the day with all of my stuff to just pack it up. It keeps everything organized. You just slide it all in. And it's so easy to see what's in your bag. I've had backpacks, um, and they're just so hard to keep organized and tidy, and that just always drove me nuts. As well as I feel like this is so professional and cute. This is like a cute briefcase in a way, but it also looks really good on, and it looks really great. Um, even as a purse. I think it's really stylish and sleek. Very different. I don't see many people um, with this bag. I know Nat Nat is becoming very popular, at least in Toronto. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. Don't mind my, my sweatpants. I'm just really obsessed. So this is my new bag. Eventually, when I don't have to use it as a briefcase or whatever, if I don't, I'll just, again, I don't know, just throw stuff in it. It's great for my camera, things like that, and I'm really enjoying it. So I will link it down below. I hope that you enjoyed this What's in My Bag. Let me know what you think of this bag, and if you have a backpack that you love, I'd love to know your comments and your thoughts and your opinions on, you know, these types of bags. <laughs> Anyways, thank you again so much for watching. I will see you for another video. Bye.